Hey, what's going on guys? I am back with another action figure unboxing and review for you today. And we have this awesome Marvel Legends Iron Man modular suit that we are gonna do today. And I'm super excited to get this guy open. I do have the Iron Man 80 years anniversary um, edition Iron Man and he is pretty sweet, but I really, I was really looking at this guy and wanting to buy him. I kept seeing him online and procrastinated and then he showed up at my local comic book store and I couldn't say no. So let's get into it. So here from the front of the box we can see he comes with some extra hands up here. Let me see he's got two uh, blue repulsor blast uh, accessories down here and on the side we got an animated pic of the, uh, the modular suit. Iron Man on this side, we got the same picture. And then here on the back, we've got uh, pictures of the other action figures in this uh, Ursa Major Build-A-Figure wave. Um, and then up here in the corner, we've got a short bio on the modular suit. So let's go ahead and crack this dude open and see what he looks like outside of the package. All right, so we got this guy out of his package here. And let's check him out. Just right out of the package. He's awesome. Um, he's just super glossy, shiny looking. And the gold is done really well. Um, let's get into the articulation. Here, see his uh, head movement. You can look down. Not too far. Not too much head movement here, but... Not terrible. Here he is looking up. Just look up, especially for a flying character. You want them to be able to look up and see which way they're flying. So that looks good. Um, actually, when I first popped him open, I had a little trouble with his left arm getting him to go in 360 degrees this way. So, it was a little stiff there. Have me worry for a second. So, he does, you see, get his arms out. Pop his arms out into a T pose. That looks good. Looks really good. Of course, he's got a bicep swivel. He's got double jointed elbow he can get his arms up like that and coming down here to his hand he got his wrist on a swivel and kind of as an upgrade from previous uh, figures his repulsor blaster hands actually have a hinge on them as well to kind of change the angle from up to down here so that's really cool and then he's got his fist hands as well that are hinged so and then going to his ab crunch his ab crunch looks really good he's got not that much movement forward and tons of movement backwards and of course he's got swivel at the waist his legs come split about out there balls all hinged in. and let's check out his upper thigh he's got upper thigh swivel here and double jointed knees he can get his leg up Not like that and of course he's got up and down on the ankle and rockers on the ankle ankle as well Let's check him out and put his uh, the repulsor effects on here. I really do, I love the gold on this. 
We'll get a bit, little bit closer in a second and look at the paint up close under a light. And really check out the applications, but here he is with his repulsor hands. Ultra Pursuit Iron Man looking super epic. Super awesome. All right, let's check him out a little bit closer under the light and, and look at some of the paint. All right, so let's check this guy out a little bit closer. We got him here. Also, we swapped out his right hand from a repulsor hand to his opposite hand. Like I said, that does have a hinge on it and left the re repulsor hand in the left over here. But let's get a little bit closer and look at the face here. The front and the side. The other side, the paint's done really well. The red and gold, this, these shades of red and gold are really awesome. Um, and a little bit of uh, swirling, a little bit of pearlescent uh, on the red looks really cool. Or marbling, I should say, effect looks cool on the red. There. The effects. The Good, so yeah. Nothing, I did see one flaw on the shoulder here, just look like some gold paint hit the shoulder when it was getting painted. Other than that, I, it looks really great. My 80 years Iron Man had the gold on the elbow, I was kind of disappointed. It was, Really, it was kind of messed up. Um, you can see in another video, I have what it looks like. And uh, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it was disappointing to see. So it was awesome to see this come out looking excellent. The paint abs looking right on. This is the up close. Kind of second look at this paint job. That is just a nice looking action figure. And it is one of the super, it was one of the coolest suits of all. So let's pop him out and check him in comparison with another Iron Man figure in size. Compare them. Alright, so, and now I got these two together. I got my 80 years anniversary of Iron Man here. And we've got the modular suit here, just for comparison for height. And they are very, very, very close. Um, one thing also I forgot to point out, you can easily see when you see them together, that the modular suit Iron Man has pinless joints. So you can't see the pins here or in the knees here in the elbow or here on the knees, these pins here. So definitely a sleeker look. And I also think that's probably makes it easier for the paint because that's actually kind of where my, my paint got messed up on my 80 years Iron Man is right there on the elbow from some, from, from bending it and it just looks, where they painted it, it bubbled up a lot right there on the elbow, but this review is not about him, so we'll let him hang out there. This is about the modular suit Iron Man. So if you like this video, click that like button. That uh, helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And uh, then you will see my upcoming videos, whatever action figure reviews I'm doing or guitar business I have going on. So this is the Marvel Legends modular suit Iron Man. Here's his extra pieces right here. I'll catch you guys later.